A real reason no effects is breaking up. Interesting. I'm intrigued by this one. I am as well. Because I haven't really looked into why they're breaking up. I just know that yep. they are breaking up. And they're doing their, their final, final tour, tour and stuff. So, yeah, this was another question that I was kind of curious about myself. Yeah. Um. So glad uh, Finn is asking. And this is the Punk Rock NBA podcast, if you were curious. Um, but he does a whole bunch of stuff on, on YouTube, and he's definitely worth checking out. I haven't yeah. watched a whole bunch of his videos, but... So let's check it out here. Let's do it. You said something interesting earlier that you said your mission was to spread joy or something like that, which uh, I, I wouldn't have ever, I, I don't think I would have expected you to say that, but hearing you say it, it does kind of um, make a lot of things make sense. But that's it's one of the reasons I'm, I'm quitting no effects uh, is because I want to find better ways to bring to let to help people find happiness so interesting yeah i knew he was kind of a pure of heart kind of guy yeah in a in certain ways so i knew like little bits of that like his thought process in certain ways but i didn't know he was leaving no effects because of that He's probably just, you know, trying to find a different way or avenue of delivering smiles. Up. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, I mean, it makes sense. We all mature as we get older too. Oh yeah, yeah. and definitely did his did he did it when he was in the band anyway. Yeah, at forty years, right? That's about the longest time. Is that right? Yeah. So I don't know. Eighties. Yeah. Oh yeah, that would be forty. Yeah. Jesus, and that made me feel old. <laughs> You're not even forty. I know, dude. <laughs> Because uh, that's what I'm interested in. And why do you, why do you think No Effects isn't the right vehicle for that right now? Well, we bring happiness to people for a night. It's like you can give a guy a fish or teach him how to fish. Mm -hmm. And I'm more interested in uh, uh, doing TED talks and and. Uh, I haven't, I, I, I just, I really enjoy that. I mean, I studied sex therapy in, in, uh, it was my minor in college and I'm so open about my sexuality. I know a lot of my conversations go back to this and me being masculine and very feminine, but that's what the world needs. It, it, uh, playing in a band, what gives you the good feeling it, it, that you're making people stoked? Mm -hmm. Well, I make people stoked for their lives. I want to teach people that because really happiness is right in front of all of us and people mm -hmm. don't know they don't understand it yeah they think it's working or making money and it's i never once have thought either of those nope <laughs> don't get me wrong he said work i was like nope <laughs> not even once don't don't get me wrong having some semblance of financial freedom is nice Sure. But it's not necessary to be happy. No, no. Does he got something in his hair? What do you mean? Blue? No, no. no. The white spot in his hair. I think it's just something on the wall behind him. I don't think so. I think that's in his hair. Uh, okay. Weird weird thing to pick up there, bye. I know. I just caught my eye. <laughs> oh my God. But I, I do like what he's saying here about, you know, he wants to make people help people learn to enjoy and just be happy overall. Yeah. Rather yeah. than just, he could go keep performing and putting on shows and making people happy for a night or a weekend or yeah. a week maybe, but he wants to help them understand that you could be happy by just being yourself. Yeah. And he seems to be having fun with it, making TikToks like you just said. That, yeah. that cracked me up. <laughs> making TikToks. I like it. <laughs> It's turned into a thing for everybody. Yeah. I mean, everybody gets those. I mean, at least where we're from, everybody gets all goofy about that. Dude, dude, I love TikTok. Fucking TikTok. It's like, like I have to take myself away from TikTok at times. Oh, I Because think, if I don't, I I'll think just be on it all the, the time. The problem is the algorithm's so well, so good that you just, like, can just be on it. And, like, you're yeah. not finding an end to, like, where it. Yep. The you're content just, just keeps coming. It's crazy. The, but I think making the content is is fun 
It's just yeah. you need to. We all have to work on our self discipline a little bit. I think on that that front. A hundred percent. That that's why I'll I'll just be done with TikTok for like a month or two or three. Yeah, or take a little break. I think I'm on month three right now. Oh, I just set a timer on my phone, so nothing over yeah. a half hour. Yeah, that way, when I come back to it, <laughs> I got a hundred messages from you, hundred messages from another buddy, and well, that that's gonna be a day. I'm just gonna waste a day on TikTok. Nice, relaxing. Just, just get out of reality. I'm chill. I'm done. And then the next day, all right, I'm not getting on TikTok today. <laughs> Figuring out what your passion is and what your happiness is. And then you figure out how to get that. And well, you've achieved a lot of things in life that people would say, oh, if only I had that, like if only a million people liked my band or if only I got signed to this label or if only I did this, you've achieved a lot of those things. And people might say, oh, well, it's easy to say, easy for Mike to say that being in a band doesn't make you happy and whatnot. But you know it, you yeah. know, because you were there. Yeah, and because, you know, no effect started in 83, and I worked at McDonald's all summer, and I worked in a women's shoe store, and and no one liked us until 1990 at all. Right. And right. So we did our eight years on the fucking road uh, making $75 a night. We did it because we loved it. And, yeah, and my dad was a traveling shoe salesman, and my mom was a manicurist. But uh, I figured out a way – but now that's the point is I was so fucking happy just being in a van with these guys in the eighties and, you know, and me and Aaron at the time, you know, we were having kinky sex in the van, you know, we tell the guys to stay at someone's house and I get tied up in the van. It's like, it didn't matter how much money you had. It, it's if you were doing what you fucking love. <laughs> What you got on this one, buddy? <laughs> what are you co commenting on here? <laughs> you call me a long wheel. <laughs> <laughs> he just said it. I don't know why. I couldn't get over it. All right. Dude, I fucking love you so much. <laughs> Son of a bitch. That's terrible. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shall <I continue? laughs> yeah. People think that being successful financially is happiness and it can help, I guess. Sure, it can help. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt. But uh, greatest punk lyrics of my life was seven seconds, wasted life ain't no crime. It's like, you don't, and, and in America, oh, I'm just going to kind of waste my life and just enjoy it. You're shunned. You are yeah. shunned. Where in Europe, <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm going to be a barista. For, I love this city in Italy. I'm gonna, just going to be Italian, hang out with my bros, and <laughs> this restaurant, and rent for my whole life. And look at that guy who's happy his whole life. Uh, playing bocce ball. Can't do that in America. America, you got to be a success. Or you're a loser. It's fucking disgusting. Well, you're a very driven person, though. So how do you kind of balance Honestly, that's a great point. Yeah, it is. Our culture is a little out of whack with that. I simply say if you are happy and you are happy with your wherever you're at financially, life-wise, yeah. as long as you are happy doing what you do and living how you live, who gives a shit? Yeah. And it's kind of like the opposite. Of what it's, it's hard, though, because that's what we're – I'm assuming you were raised the same way. We're like uh, – you give responsibility and yeah. yep, yep. And make sure to tack extra responsibility on top of your responsibility because if you can't handle your original responsibility, you better be able to handle this extra responsibility and it makes no fucking sense. Yeah. But go fucking do it. Yeah. Yeah. Which is absolutely outrageous and painful at times. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. It's those two things. I mean, you're not a slacker. I don't know. I, I'm a workaholic. Uh, I'm getting over it right now, though. That's why I'm giving up no effects. And uh, the Punk Rock Museum is now open. I have uh, a couple more things on my list. And then I'm going to go back to how I was living in the 90s, which is, uh, you know, 
I'm going to, I want to, well, I'm definitely going to get into stand up because I love stand up. I just don't have time for it now. How are you going to keep yourself from kind of workaholicing on the museum like you did the band and the other things? The museum is open. We're good. I'm just going to, you know, like I've, I have a couple tour, I have a tour today, tour tomorrow. I'm going to add stuff, but my passion right now is co-defendants, bro. Come on. Hell yeah. We're, I mean, co-defendants, we're, we're halfway through with our new album and which is better than our first one. What do you say? Do you hear what he said? I just heard what he fucking said. Uh, better than the first one? Do I get excited? I don't even care. Huh? It's new. I just got in the first one. I know. Well, this is a fucking tease. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Fuck yeah, bud. <laughs> <laughs> so that's, I, I thought that that was just kind of like a one-off little thing, but that's like a a, a band that's going to continue to exist. Oh, good. baby, look at that logo. There it is. Have you heard the album yet? That logo does give me like Operation Ivy vibes. <laughs> For sure. It's a sweet logo, though. It is. It is cool, yeah. Damn, that's exciting. Yeah, it is. I heard what you played me and like what's out publicly. I've not heard anything. I don't I don't well, know if that's out. what I heard. Check it out. Okay, yeah, I've heard that then. Yeah. yeah. First time I ever got 10 out of 10 reviews. Feels good. Uh, and Code of Fed has played with no effects in Austin on a big stage. And uh, people, it was, it was really exciting. Yeah, it's cool. It's, it's, it's cool. I, it was like genuinely like a fresh new sound, uh, which I, I had no expectations, but it was really cool. And that, I love that, that everyone says it's like, it's like, I don't know what it's like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so fun to hear that every It's crime wave. <laughs> yep. Code of End is going to have a second album. Dude, I'm excited about that for sure. And Mike's leaving the band. Yeah. And that's why they're breaking up. They're done. Yep. Which I mean, makes sense. I mean, yeah. you do something for 40 years. I'm sure you want to do something different. Oh, so. yeah. And obviously, he's had his focus on the museum for a minute. Yeah. Kind of sounds like he wants to simplify his life a little bit. Yeah. Just kind but of then back he's, to his roots a little bit. <laughs> but he's got another band going on. I, I, I did find that funny. Yeah. <laughs> like he's sitting there talking about, uh, yeah, being in a band for so long, sometimes, you know, you just need to change the scenery. And then he's going into another band. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm running a, pu- a punk museum. <laughs> You're just adding more to your plate. What do you mean? <laughs> uh, this is a, chain of scen- a change of scenery. I mean, it'll change your scenery. It's definitely a change of scenery. And I, I think he's just playing, he's not playing bass and singing. So he's yeah. just playing bass in this. Right. I, yeah, I don't know. Definitely seems like he's just. I would love to see him, hear him sing with, in that group. That'd be. That'd be gnarly. I mean, they already got a wonderful mix of different people singing and stuff. I'm sure he will at some point. Yeah. Um, that was cool. I definitely like, you know, how he explained different things. And he was just very cordial and just. Hey, th- this is what's going on. I mean, yeah, he just wants to swap it up and enjoy life a different way. Hell yeah. 